Hey y'all, it's Roman with Stay Gold Farms. Well, it's day 22 actually. We're, we had to go another day. Might have been a little early on, um, you know, kind of giving that first count, obviously, because man, we have a lot of chicks here. So I'm gonna go ahead and my son and I are gonna go ahead and take these out and count how many we got. Now, we went on lockdown with 23 eggs. So let's see how many we've got. All right, here we go. That's a lot of chicks. All right, go ahead one at a time, Roman. Or two. That's a big one. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. That one looks like it's I don't know if it's quite leg, but go ahead and put the top back on. And we'll let it kinda I think that was the last one that just hatched. So sixteen out of twenty-three. Not too bad. Um, I want to see now if there's any eggs that perhaps are pipping, which right now it, it's pretty humid in here, so um, we'll just kind of check that out and see. So we took the eggs out that we kind of, we, there was one that kind of showed a bit of a pip. And then I had to take the eggs away and kind of listen to them. And I heard some chirping in some of them. So hoping that they, you know, kind of hatch themselves. So we'll just let those, the rest resume. I took out two. Um, now keep in mind, just because of the candling, I, I just took a shot. I knew that there was definitely two that were clear, and so they were definitely not fertile. So I let the rest of them just go, assuming that they were fertile. They were just so dark I couldn't even tell. So for me, taking a, a shot in the dark, pretty much, uh, that... I think that was a pretty good count, considering. So I'm pretty happy overall with this hatching. The This incubator is incredible. It handles so well in keeping all of the, the numbers right where you need to have them, and you can put them wherever you want, and they will stay there, whatever you, your preference is. So... This is a really good, and it's pretty affordable too, as far as an incubator, getting started incubating eggs. I would definitely recommend this Chick Cozy incubator. And I'll have the link to purchase if you like in uh, my comments, and uh, I will give you all the other uh, videos that I did on this. There's uh, four more videos, so check them all out. If you want to see all the features of this incubator, you will not be sorry. I would definitely get it. So um, the cleanup is next, uh, and I, I don't see it really getting too bad. 
it definitely is a little foggy in there from all that dander and so it should be pretty easy to clean up and get it ready for another hatching when we do we're, we're going to slow down we have way too many chicks at this point and so um, this is probably going to be the last hatching uh, for quite a few months I've been out in the garden doing so much work on that garden. It is such a heavy task, but I'm uh, working at it, just trying to get as much as I can done. Uh, it's so labor intensive and uh, it's just, it's taking a lot out of me physically, but I, I can do this. I'm right there at the end, so I could see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I will continue on that as well. So I'll talk to y'all soon and uh, you guys stay gold.